tonight on Behind the Music That Sucks, the truth about Lindsay Lohan's implants. To stay on top, I had to have a boob job. I also had to have a frog put in my throat. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan and her implants. Does she have them? Does she not? For the first time ever, Lindsay's implants speak out and speak the truth. We made Lindsay's career. And she cut us out. Literally. Lindsay Lohan and her public battle with her own implants. Tonight on Behind the Music That Sucks. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan was born on July 2nd, 1986. Immediately, Mother Dina ordered the controversial procedure of newborn breast augmentation. In a 28-hour operation, plastic surgeons inserted Russell and Thelma, two saline sacs that would change Lindsay's life forever. I mean, kids would really look at me weird as a toddler. My breasts were bigger than my head. Oh, take it easy, Lindsay. Oh, no. Oh, stop. She was the laughing stock of the playground, but soon Russell, Thelma, and Lindsay would form a bond no one could break. Some days I'd just sit around, play with my boobs all day. Pinching the nipples, pressing them against glass, it was great. When things got bad at home, Lindsay would turn to Russell and Thelma, or just look down her shirt at her amazing freckled fun bags. Well, I can't, I can't them to stop fighting. Oh, now, Lindsay, you need to remember, this isn't your fault. Cut, Lindsay, who are you talking to? Ah, uh, nobody. Hey, mister, what time is lunch? With a rack like that supporting her, Lindsay was the queen of Hollywood, but with success came greed and bitterness. Russell and Thelma felt underappreciated. No one was talking about it, but everybody knew Lindsay's implants were the reason she was famous. Do you think 13-year-old boys really cared about her acting? They liked me, her boobies. That's who they were jacking off to at night, me and my wife. Oh, yes. Russell and I always put on a good show. Then one night at a boat party, Ashley Olsen threw a harpoon at Lindsay's right breast. If not for her implants, Lindsay would be dead. Meanwhile, Russell suffered a serious wound. I had lost a lot of saline. They didn't think I was gonna make it. That Ashley Olsen throws a mean harpoon. For two weeks, America clung to their TVs as doctors tried to save Lindsay Lohan's right booby. Russell was saying I shouldn't have been making fun of Full House like that, but how was I supposed to know that bitch was gonna throw a harpoon at me? As he got better, the national spotlight was on Russell. Rolling Stone called for a cover, only this time they wanted Russell and Thelma without Lindsay. Tired of playing second fiddle, Russell and Thelma demanded Lindsay remove them as her implants. I felt betrayed. First my parents, then even my boobs weren't there for me. Months went by and Lindsay managed without her memories. Meanwhile, Russell and Thelma took their newfound fame to Broadway. 525,600 minutes! 525,600 minutes! But America's love for implants had imploded. Oh, the flat-chested boho look was in. It was just bad timing. Meanwhile, Lindsay reached her lowest point. She started dating Fez from that 70s show and crashed Herbie the Love Bug into a tree, killing Herbie instantly. When I killed Herbie, I felt so alone. When we heard about Lindsay's accident, we hopped on the first medical supply truck we could to Los Angeles. We got there and apologized. We realized implants aren't meant to be the stars of the show. Today, Russell and Thelma are retired and living at St. Clair's Augmentation Retirement Home in Calabasas, California. Pam Anderson and Anna Nicole's boobs are here. And believe it or not, Mickey Rourke's got an old dong who lives with us. Oh, needless to say, we have a pretty good time. Oh, 